Welcome to the ChatGPT Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Each episode, we dive into the latest developments in the exciting field of artificial intelligence, exploring its applications and potential impacts on our daily lives. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. I just released a bombshell investigative podcast piece about Inflection AI and the dangers it poses to humanity. This is right on the back of Inflection raising $1.3 billion and becoming the second most funded AI startup behind OpenAI. The episode is called Inflection AI Raises $1.5 Billion, Thinks Ecology is More Important Than Human Life. If you haven't listened to this, I urge you to listen to this critical episode. I'll leave a link in the description to the podcast and a corresponding article with the full transcripts of my conversation with Inflection's Pi chatbot. Celestial AI has just raised a whopping $100 million for a very cool use case. So today on the podcast, we'll be talking about what they are spending that $100 million on, what they do, and why I think this is such an important use case for the future. So the first thing to know is that essentially they're cutting... They're creating this cutting edge technology that speeds up data transfer. Um, And this massive funding round is all about the company's technology known as photonic fabric platform. So essentially it is something that has been uh, very interesting to a lot of big investors. It's caught their attention. They had investors like um, IAG Capital Partners, Coke Disruptive Technologies, Tesmax XOR Innovation Fund, Samsung, uh, Porsche, Uh, the engine fund, a lot of other big investors have been super interested in this. And actually, this isn't the first, obviously, money that they've raised. This will bring up to $165 million that they've raised um, total since the very early uh, stages of funding till now. So in basic terms, Celestial AI is working on a solution for a problem known as the memory wall challenge. So this problem essentially comes up when you're trying to work with advanced AI models like, you know, GPT-4, for example, which power things like advanced chatbots and recommendation systems. So obviously something that is very prevalent in the industry today. So these models need a ton of memory capacity and speed, but this is actually very hard to achieve because of how computer memory um, and computing work together. So the current method of transferring data is electrical um, interconnects, and they have a lot of limitations. Uh, For example, you know, like lower bandwidth, higher delay times, and huge power usage, right? We, we've we heard this a lot when people are training these AI models. It uses an insane amount of power. So these problems can slow down the advancements. And essentially, when you're trying to scale your AI technology, um, all of these things slow them down a lot. And so that's actually where Celestial AI comes in and the problem that they're trying to solve. So Celestial AI has partnered with um, some top-tier tech companies to develop their photonic fabric, which is essentially a special way of transferring data that's designed for large-scale computing and memory tasks. So Celestial AI says that this tech breaks down the limitations of how memory can be distributed in data centers, and basically it's enabling a lot faster and a lot more efficient computing. And I would say the main problem moving forward, according to Celestial AI CEO Dave Lavosky, um, is the memory capacity and data management for large language models and recommendation engines. So Photonic Fabric's advantage is that it can directly deliver data anywhere in the silicon die, which is like you can think of the silicon die essentially as like the brain of a computer um, and where current solutions can only deliver data to the edge of the die. So they're delivering data to the edge of the die and then it's getting pulled in and there's a lot of um, lost, there's a lot of lost, you know, speed. It has latency issues and whatnot. So this new Photonic Fabric, it can deliver the data directly um, to you know, the center of the die or anywhere else on this silicon die. So this new technology has reportedly overcome one of the really, I mean, you could call it like a quote-unquote beachfront problems, but essentially it's offering much higher bandwidth and lower delay times. And this lets the platform provide super fast links between different computing parts. So the recent funding has also got the attention of Broadcom, which is a leading tech company, which is now working with Celestial Eye on developing 
uh, prototypes based on this tech. So their goal with these prototypes is to have them ready for customers within the next year and a half. So, you know, within the next uh, 18 months or so. So as the amount of data being moved around data centers grows, this isn't, you know, this is obviously a trend we're, can, we're seeing continue to grow. These AI models are just getting more popular. More companies are doing this kind of technology and kind of building these AI models out. Um, and as this continues to grow, the data transfer speeds also need to rise. Um, but as these speeds go up, current methods of data transfer, including, you know, electrical interconnects, um, they start having problems like signal loss and limited bandwidth that can't keep up with the data growth. So really this restricts the overall speed and just efficiency of the system. So with the photonic fabrics, low latency um, or delay time in data transmission, more servers can be connected with traditional electrical interconnects. So the same low latency also allows latency sensitive applications to use uh, remote memory, which wasn't possible with older methods. So by using this new photonic fabric, companies can actually better use their memory and computing resources without a hit on power latency and performance. So poor use of server memory can lead to massive waste of money. Um, I, I've looked into this a lot. And I've talked a lot with, you know, my different uh, CTOs for different startups. But essentially, if you don't have your, your servers configured correctly, there's all of these different arguments you have to make between um, the different types of servers and how you set that up. But it, it can cost you a lot of money if you don't have those set up correctly. So by making better use of your memory, Celestial AI's new tech can actually help to reduce a lot of the waste and improve memory utilization. They believe that their new, um, essentially their new product can deliver data from anywhere on the silicone to the, to the point of computing. And the bandwidth provided is significantly greater um, and the delay time is significantly lower than competing solutions. So I think this is really ideal for working with large AI models that can range from, you know, 100 billion to a trillion plus parameters, which is actually a trend I think we're seeing in the future and in this space um, with, you know, GPT-4 being rumored at being over a trillion parameters and Facebook themselves, or I guess Meta, has talked about a lot of different AI models they're building and how many parameters are in those. And they're saying, you know, they're orders of magnitude bigger than even GPT-4, allegedly, is what Meta's saying, which would be, you know, trillions and trillions of parameters. So very, very large. By enabling each processor to store and process larger chunks of data, uh, the photonic fabric reduces the number of processors needed and provides the fastest link between processors, allowing them to process much faster um, and really just increases the speed overall. I think it's going to be really interesting to continue to watch this space and see if new innovations like this out of Celestial AI um, make a really big impact because as, as they're making a lot of these improvements, they're essentially allowing us to build bigger, more powerful, more, co um, more power consumptive models, which is going to be really, really big for um, some of the big use cases that people have in the future. So I think this is going to be really interesting. I think this is going to push the industry forward in a lot of ways that people aren't um, predicting right now. We're going to see some pretty massive improvements in AI in the coming years and even perhaps, you know, months uh, because of this new technology that's coming to the forefront. If you've been following the podcast for a while, you'll know that over the last six months, I've been working on a stealth AI startup. Of the hundreds of projects I've covered, this is the one that I believe has the greatest potential. So today I'm excited to announce AI Box. AI Box is a no-code AI app building platform paired with the App Store for AI that lets you monetize your AI tools. The platform lets you build apps by linking together AI models like ChatGPT, MidJourney, and Eleven Labs eventually will integrate with software like Gmail, Trello, and Salesforce so you can use AI to automate every function in your organization. To get notified when we launch and be one of the first to build on the platform, you can join the waitlist at AIbox.ai. The link is in the show notes. We are currently raising a seed round of funding. If you're an investor that is focused on disruptive tech, I'd love to tell you more about the platform. You can reach out to me at jaden at AIbox.ai. I'll leave that email in the show notes. You've been listening to the ChatGPT podcast. Make sure to rate us wherever you listen to your podcasts and have a fantastic week.